So I want y'all to sit back, relax, watch this short film pertaining to adultery and all the sins that go with it. There's no nudity, no cursing. It's just a short film on what happens when a person commits this act. Make the reservations. Okay, baby. Well, I just got off, so I'll be I'll be home in about 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, and Roger called about the car. What did he say? The Bible tells us in the previous verse, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. So as you can see in this first clip, you saw her face. She started to lust after something. Let's continue. Hello? Kate, are you there? <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Let me, let me call you right back. My boss is calling me. Uh, excuse me, miss. How may I help you? Um, uh, I have a meeting with uh, RFB Movies. I've been trying to get the uh, uh, receptionist on the phone. I'm not having any luck. Do you mind uh, pointing me in the right direction? Yeah, it's on the 24th floor. You know what? It's right next to my law firm. Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I almost forgot. What sweet number is it? 2406. 24-6. Thank you again. You know what? Why don't I show you? I mean, I left some papers on my desk and I have to go up there anyways. Okay, be fine. Okay, follow me. A righteous man hated lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. Loathsome is like a disgusting person. When you find a liar and you know that they told a big lie and it brought shame, that's a disgusting person. So as you can see, there's some lying going on. Let's continue. Okay. I didn't get your uh, name. It's Kate, and I never got yours. Oh, it's Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kate. Nice to meet you. I've never seen you around here. You must be new. That I am. I recently moved from California to here. Oh, a Californian. Yep. <laughs> so what, what made you move? Uh, I got a job opportunity with uh, RFP Movies. I'm a film producer. Oh, okay. That's a nice, interesting job. Eh, yeah, it had its moments. Are you married? Uh. No, I'm not. Are you? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. So I guess that means you could be my tour guide, show me around the city a little bit. Well, that all depends. Depends on what? How long is your meeting? Mm, about uh, two to three hours, tops. Okay, let me see your phone. Okay, give me a call after your meeting is over and we can get that tour started. Okay, sounds like a plan. Mm -hmm. I'll go home and get freshened up and I'll be waiting on your call. Okay. By the way, didn't you say you left some papers upstairs? It can wait. If you remember those four words that I had at the beginning, adultery, fornication, lust, and lies, we can see lust and lies going on. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. Keep my commandment and live and my law as the apple of thine eye. Bind them upon thy finger. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Say unto wisdom, thou, thou art my sister, and call understanding thy kinswoman, that they may keep thee from the strange woman. From the stranger, which flattereth with her words. As you can see, she's flattering him. Man, you're looking for a woman? Get to know her. See, she loves the Lord.
but do not commit fornication acts. Don't give in. Same thing for the woman. You looking for a man? Seek the Lord first, and he'll show you if that's the right man for you. Vice versa. Hey, everything okay? You hear it in the house and been in this bathroom for some time now, baby. Baby. I'm sorry, honey. It's just a lot happened at work today and it's just very stressful. Why are you all dressed up? I thought you said council reservations. Oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention that we have a last minute gathering at work and we all have to be there. You know, you know how this goes, just lawyer stuff. And you just found this out? Yeah, they told me on my way home. Baby, why are you not wearing your wedding ring? Where is it at? You know, I, I forgot to mention, we had this game that we are playing at work and I just, I had to take it off. It, it's right over there in my other purse. I'll put it back on. Shoot, it's skin late. Okay, honey, I have to go, okay? I'll see you when you get back. Okay, baby. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his own lust and enticed. She's being tempted and she's giving in to the lust. And she's dressing away to entice this man. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Entice him and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him. And we will give thee every one of us 1,100 pieces of silver. So the Philistines told her to entice him. There's a certain way women know how to entice men. And that's what this woman's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know, I knew you were a little crazy. Sometimes it gotta be. <laughs> I had fun today. Me too. I was happy to be our tour guide. Do you need to take this? No, it's no one important. Mm. Okay. So, uh, where do we go from here? Well, why don't you take me to your place? And you can give me a tour of where you live at. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can do that. As you get to know about God, you get to learn about verses like this. My son, if sin is enticed thee, consent thou not. You get to know about who to hang around with, who's your friends, where to be at, where you shouldn't go. As you can see, she's a sinner and he's consenting to her sins. But he's just a worldly man, not knowing nothing, just liking a girl. And it leads on to this sin and leads on to that sin. Now, concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife and let every woman have her own husband. But if they cannot contain, let them marry. For it's better to marry than to burn. Like I told y'all, if a man looking for a woman, get to know him. Make sure they know the Lord. Same with the woman, and y'all get to know each other. Make sure they know the Lord first. And if y'all can't last for a while, it's better to marry than to burn. <laughs> On part two, get to see what happens when they come face to face.